it's Andrea Mercier aka Anne Loam and welcome to my studio. Today is a special day. I'm going to be doing a collaboration with another member of CAC. She's Canadian as well. Her name is Leticia Finder and her channel is right here. I encourage you to go and see all the cool stuff that she does. We are doing a Valentine's Day collaboration that we're releasing on February 7th so that you have time to try the techniques that we're going to show you to make a gift from the heart for your Valentines. And that's our theme, gift from the heart. The only other rules we had with the collaboration was that it had to be under 10 minutes. So that means I'm going to struggle with that because my videos are always really long. And we could use red, pink, purple, and white in it. And that was pretty much it. We could do whatever we wanted. And mine's gonna stay a secret until the end, but I think that this will be a nice, fun, easy project to do to get ready to give a gift for someone for Valentine's. And I believe this one will be a kid-friendly project if you wanna do something with your child to get ready for Valentine's Day. So let's get to it. Okay, so what you need is a piece of cardstock. I have taken my favorite sea sponge. This is a real sponge. It is damp, no water. And I've got my colors out. And I'm just going to dab paint on and create a really just model background. So here we are at the next step. This is the one that I made on camera and I also off camera made three more. So I have four in total. You don't necessarily need four. I just wanted to have a lot of choices. So what I'm going to do is I don't have a lot of punches. As a matter of fact, I had to go out and buy these two for this project. I think I only have like four and they're ones that I've picked up at garage sales. I, it's just not something I do, but I know that there's people out there who have gazillions of these. They do not have to be in a heart shape. They can be in any shape that you want, but I wanted to do mine with hearts. So I am now going to punch out a whole bunch of hearts with these punches. Okay, so obviously I overestimated how much paper I was going to need. I don't do paper crafts, so one sheet of paper is plenty to do this project. To do the four projects I'm doing, you only need one piece of paper and there's still going to be plenty left over for collage. Uh, yeah. <laughs> the next thing you need is a piece of cardstock. This cardstock has a little bit of a, of a ridge in it. I got that um, from a friend of mine who used to have a greeting card company. But you can get this kind of paper at Michael's or any other in the United States. I think there's Hobby Lobby and Joann's. So I just have one each of red and white and it's eight and a half by 11. So what you do is, is you cut them in half with either a trimmer or a ruler and an exacto knife or even with your scissors and you end up with pieces like this that you fold in half so you end up with I guess you figured out that we're going to be doing cards <laughs> so what you do is you end up with two cards per piece of paper so I did one of each color 
and I also had four envelopes. Now envelopes you can get separately at Michael's or you could also at Michael's they have the ones where you you get the cardstock and the envelopes in a kit. I think you get 10. Um, you could use that too or you can make your own envelopes and I'll actually post a video separately to show you how to make envelopes. We'll make an envelope out of some of that leftover paper. <laughs> okay. So the objective of this is to create a nice little card. So taking some of the, taking some of your paper hearts, the objective is to just kind of move it around until you find a way that you enjoy these cards and then we're going to glue them down. So I'm gonna play for a while and move stuff around and I'll be back. Okay, I have a couple of very simple designs and we're gonna do some decorating as well. Um, this one here, when I started putting in the one, I thought it would be like a nice one for a grandma or something because then you could put the little hearts for the number of grandkids she had or something like that. And then on the white ones, I'm, I'm going to be doing some outlining to separate them. Again, I'm not, I don't do paper crafts, but this sounded like something new and different with Letitia. So I am going to go and get some adhesive and start gluing this down and then we'll do some decorating. going to let this dry and then we will come back because this will dry clear. I don't know if you can see that but I smushed my glue a little bit. Again, not a paper crafter but you know what? I like the fact that it dries clear. <laughs> so while I was doing this I was thinking that um, because I have extras left over they would make really nice seals on the back of the envelope after you write in your card and you put it in. So um, I'm going to let this dry and then we're going to come back and we're going to decorate these cards and then we'll put them in the envelope and we'll seal them. Well, I think that one's, well, you know what? That would be pretty cool. Just like that. And then maybe you could decorate the front of the envelope. So we'll do that too. We'll be back. Okay. So we're going to decorate these now. So I got out my equal to stickles. I have the Studio G glitter glues that need to be given a good shake. I have a few embellishments. I've got little pearls and crystals and I have some pink and purple and a red pen. Oh, and I also have one of these little heart keys. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to decorate all of them, but I'm going to make one specifically for my niece and then we'll put that in an envelope and we will decorate the envelope and seal the back and then we're good to go. See you on the other side.
is the top, this part here, like it's gone. It blew up. I was trying to force it out and it went <laughs> and I now have silver glitter everywhere. It's everywhere. <laughs> I'm going to let it dry and then I'm going to scrape it off. Oh, so don't do that. Don't do that. And I need to back away from the paper crafts because obviously I'm not qualified to be doing it. Oh, let's see if I can get through the rest of this without, you know, setting fire to something. We have four cards decorated, which I'm really excited about. I'm going to just finish up here. This is the one that's going to go to my niece. Pink is her favorite color. dry yet okay that's not going in there but it will go in there and then I'm going to seal it with this so that's my project so there we are four nice little cards for Valentine's Day some decorated envelopes and some seals if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe right here so that you can come and join me in my studio for my arting journey. I always love it when you come along because it makes it that much more fun. Please come back and I'm going to do that video to show you how to make your own envelopes out of the other piece of cardstock that we had. So we're going to turn some of these into envelopes. All right. Thanks again for being here. Have a great day. Bye.